Hey yo everyone, welcome back to another Minecraft video. We are back in an RLCraft world, not my RLCraft world, but instead a completely new world and we're gonna be testing out this mod that adds in. Let me just go ahead, let's open up our creative inventory here and look at this, a mod that adds in a bunch of different variants of TNT. And uh, you know, this this is gonna be a quite destructive video and I love testing things in RLCraft because you know, it's caused me so much pain over the last couple of months that I feel like that it's only right that I get my revenge on it and you know cause some pain back to RL craft and you know I generated this new world here and the perfect structure spawned behind me if you guys you know keep up with my stream series and not the YouTube series you would see that we've seen this thing a couple times and uh, you know me and my viewers we gave this place a name we call it vibe kingdom you come in here and dude just vibing look at him how you doing? But yeah, we're gonna blow this place up so they're not gonna be vibing for too long. So we're gonna go through a bunch of the TNT here. I'm gonna try and go from least destructive to most destructive as the video goes out or as we go through the video. But the thing is, I don't think that these are organized in least destructive to most destructive. So I gotta kind of figure it out on my own. But I'm assuming a good place to start would be this right here, large TNT. Large TNT seems like a good place to start. But yeah, we're not gonna be testing it only on this kingdom. Of course, we're gonna try and drop some nukes or you know, light some nukes next to some dragons and what other mobs we can find you know we're also gonna assault them with some explosives but yeah let's start with this right here this large tnt and uh you know this is a pretty nice big building let's go ahead let's place it like up here in the the higher levels and then just you know just light it let's give it a nice little thing to stand on here because uh, actually let's do it, like right here in the middle this seems like a perfect spot right here boom now i have a feeling we're gonna crash our game at least like 10 times oh my god that that's pretty good destruction that's pretty good look at that the whole building just got a chunk taken out of it but uh yeah that's our first tnt not bad takes out a big chunk this seems like probably a direct upgrade to regular tnt but you know we got some animals over here let's go ahead let's test our next tnt on these uh poor animals so we're gonna test out this massive tnt on them i'm very sorry look they don't even want me to get in the middle come on let me get in the middle you're gonna make me angry and i'm gonna like two of them so let me get over here in the middle okay so this i'm assuming is going to be bigger than the large tnt massive i don't know those are two adjectives for big things but let's see oh my god frame rate we're losing frames like crazy and now there's a giant hole in the floor wait what you guys are still alive talk about resilience okay i didn't know i didn't know look at this one specifically i'm sorry if we got a low frame rate throughout this video this is just something we're gonna have to deal with i don't have a 2080 ti and a ryzen 9 yet i'm working on it but look at this dude this dude he got survival instincts you know i don't think he's actually standing on this he's got instincts he knew that block wasn't gonna blow up so he's like all right i'm gonna stand on this very interesting way to fall down all right so i got my hands on some more tnt i was looking through a bunch of the tnt and like a bunch of them are like super destructive at least from what it says like no this one is so big it will crash real life and they got something like this doom tnt the gold plated plutonium alloy coated eight volume nuclear donkey edition like that sounds like that's gonna mess up everything like i'm talking about we could probably we could probably blow up this whole entire kingdom with one of those tnts so I, i'm gonna try and be careful about which ones i choose but let's start with the cluster tnt here or not start with but let's move on to the cluster tnt because this doesn't sound that destructive there's no way this can be that destructive i'm expecting like just like oh god okay it's pretty destructive oh god frame rate going down real quick i didn't think it was gonna be that destructive okay at least it was only like this chunk right here whoa little, little, little bit of a jump scare here i thought that this was gonna be a non-destructive tnt i guess i spoke wrong i didn't know all right, so there's our first crash. Who would have thought the smallest TNT? Okay, it wasn't the smallest. I thought it was going to be smallest because, you know, cluster bomb is like a bomb and shoots out a bunch of mini bombs. Usually that was a bomb that sh literally just dropped like a carpet of other bombs. Okay, whatever. Moving on. We're not going to do the double cluster. At least not yet. I don't know. We're going to try out the uh, fire. Let's, let's do uh, let's do ocean TNT. Wait, that sounds kind of destructive. I don't know. Yeah, whatever. Just do it anyways. Who cares? Let's, let's see what happens. It can't be that bad it says wet on it so you know it can't be that bad oh there we go look at that this is a this is an ocean what kind of ocean i know it was on a flat surface but like this is what you call an ocean this is a weak ocean why did it go so far this direction now that's the real question <laughs> what the heck this is kind of cool kind of just made like a giant like waterfall interesting okay let's move on to the next one then let's do uh let's do fire you know there's a village over here let's test out this fire tnt and uh let's let's see what kind of havoc this causes we'll do it in this like upper half of the village let's see how destructive the fire tnt is oh, 
also not that destructive at all. Is it up there? Oh damn, it got up there somehow. Yeah, I don't know. These have like weird explosion radiuses. Radius? Radii? But yeah, let's try the snow TNT, see if we can uh, coat everything here in snow. Maybe do it down here. There's already snow down here, but you know, might as well add more snow. I don't know if like if the radius is weird because I'm not leveling everything, like putting it on a flatter surface. I don't know. Okay, that just turned everything icy slash snowy okay not bad these tnts so far the at least these like elemental ones are not the craziest in terms of uh, destruction so these honestly might be good ones to mess around with if you didn't actually play through with these but yeah let's go ahead let's try this right here the sponge tnt the sponge tnt i'm assuming is just gonna suck up all the water so let's get a nice overhead view of the suckage no homo on that one but uh yeah that that drained everything pretty well that drained everything pretty well you know since we drained most of it i think it's only right that we refill it but with lava so let us see what happens when we do lava tnt is it gonna you know turn things to obsidian or stone i don't know the game is frozen what? there we go Ooh. okay so yeah there is some obsidian this is pretty cool oh my god like your knights like your night mobs I hate that mod but look at this this is actually really cool i can see this using this for like a challenge or something you know like a challenge like the ground is hot lava you remember when everyone did that or the floor is hot lava in minecraft okay so i have this tnt right here atomic lava nuke and uh, i saw a dragon over here i don't know if you guys saw it earlier i saw a dragon den or a roost and let's see if he's chilling up here oh he's chilling up here and he's snoozing is he snoozing oh fuck he's dead <laughs> who killed my boy i mean i guess we could still test it out anyways right you know atomic lava nuke you know might as well test it out maybe i'll just spawn my own dragon oh it's a little baby one i'm sorry little baby one uh but we still gotta put this to the test either way so let's see it okay we're getting a big lag spike hopefully this doesn't crash the game <laughs> whoa okay a bunch of lava appearing my frame rate is completely broken right now whoa <laughs> I just got a bunch of frames back. Sorry for the fog. That's a uh, RL Craft's fault, so I'm not sorry for it. But look at this. We got a nice little, just giant area of lava. I wouldn't say little, but a giant area of lava. It looks pretty cool. It looks pretty cool. That baby dragon is probably for sure dead. I don't think it survived this. Let me attempt to get an overhead view. I don't know though. Oh, look, there's the green dragon, the dead one. Oh my God, the frame rate drops when I get an overhead view. <gasps> Is that the baby one? He's still alive? I can't tell. It's like I'm watching like a like an 80s picture by picture PowerPoint. I'm somehow in lava now. I don't remember there being lava where I was going. I don't know what's going on. I need to get the hell out of here. All right, we are in the desert now, which is a nice and a peaceful area. Honestly, this might be a more destructive area to be in just because sand falls. There's a lot of death worms over here. So uh, let's, you know, attempt to use this, this arrow TNT next to a death worm. I don't know if it'll stand by it long enough, but let's try it if you don't know what it does it shoots a bunch of arrows this one is probably the most obvious tnt actually some of them are pretty obvious did that just not shoot arrows oh there we go it hit him it hit him a little bit but uh, i think he still has a lot more health but there you go there's the arrow tnt just explodes a bunch of arrows everywhere but next we got a couple of these tnts here mob tnt mob swarm atomic mob swarm and then anti-mob so we're gonna test out the mob one okay and then i think we should do like an anti one or anti however you pronounce it, it doesn't matter but let's see how many mobs this spawns in it summons in one mob just one or is it like 30 would be on top of each other it's just one that's actually kind of upsetting but let me let me do two of them okay what an interesting group of mobs to spawn in so let me do the uh swarm one then because the swarm one so it is random mobs i was th i was thinking of hostile mobs not just like a random group of them oh my god that that's a lot of mobs that's a lot more than the, the single mob frame rate is dropping i'm gonna try and like the uh the anti-mob one and see if this gets rid of the mobs because uh, you know frame rate dropping a little bit we need to get rid of them now did it blow up i i, I don't think it went off did it go off oh my god <laughs> jesus christ trying to jump scare me bro october that was like a, two months ago but look at this wow this is kind of beautiful this looks like a this looks like some sort of uh, artistic painting artistic minecraft painting you know something you see on like a minecraft instagram page but yeah if that was the mob swarm one i'm very interested to see the atomic mob swarm one this we're, we're probably gonna end up with barely any frames but you know we're still gonna test it out anyways so let's do it over here which is a little bit more uh open we got some bumping music coming up i'm gonna turn that off though because i'm gonna i'm gonna I'm gonna put my own music. All right, Atomic Mob Swarm TNT. Let's see it in action. Oh God, that summons in bosses. That's not good. Oh God. 
Let's see if I can get to the floor. And uh, place this TNT. Place it somewhere. There you go. And then light it to the best of our ability. I, <laughs> I don't know what's happening. I think I lit it. All right, I lit it. Let's fly. Am I fine? Any second now, all these mobs are going to be dead. And we're chilling. Any second now. I can't fly, bro. <laughs> oh. Oh, you hear that? I hear death. I hear death. Let's get a nice look around. Hey, most most of everything is dead. You know, the main thing that remains is Lycanite mobs, of course. All right, I'm just choosing a bunch of TNTs at random. And uh, I got Jail TNT and I got Crack TNT. Now, I'm assuming the Crack TNT has nothing to do with cocaine, but it causes a big crack in the floor. So I don't know if that's smart to test that out in the desert biome, but whatever, let's do it anyways. Let's get a nice aerial view here. And uh, let's hope that this actually does what I think it does. It doesn't crash our game. We've had a lot of drop frame rate and we've had a one crash maybe two if i wasn't really paying attention what that's it i mean i guess it did make a crack in the floor it, it didn't lie about that damn this goes down to bedrock well let's test out this jail tnt i have no idea what this does if it creates like a whole jail or if it jails a mob that's like next to it i don't know i guess we'll see okay that was a little, a little scary it jailed every mob nearby look at that okay that's nice to know hey you guys are you, these guys can fly so they can just escape if they want to it even grabbed the armor stands you see the armor stands in the middle what the heck all right so let's go over here to this village because uh i got some very interesting tnts to test on them starting with this one weed tnt question mark i don't know what this means hopefully these type of weeds right here you know the, the grass type of weeds not the other stuff you know because uh i don't know if these villages are into that i don't know if it's legal in minecraft it's legal where i live but i don't, I don't know about minecraft villages okay all right so yeah it just it's actually kind of nice it just planted a bunch of stuff everywhere that's what they meant okay okay and none of that uh marijuana as they say all right now we got some flat tnt and some mining tnt oh there's a dragon dragon spotted you know let's test out the mining tnt over here by this dragon let's uh let's just hope that it's not too destructive it'll probably even hit the dragon if it actually hits anything at all dragon moving kind of weird he's kind of like tiptoeing around but yeah let's see this in action i'm assuming it's gonna create a big hole Okay, it didn't create a big hole. Did I do mining TNT or did I do flat TNT? No, this has to be mining TNT because look, it put torches everywhere. So what about what about the flat one then? Let's get in a non-flat surface. What is that? What is this? What the heck could this be? Are these bones? This is this a fossil? What kind of fossil is this? I have never seen this before in Minecraft. Okay, we are inside this fossil. Let's light the flat TNT and then let's go outside and see if it flattens out the whole entire area here. Oh, okay. It flattened the area. Not bad at all. It even got rid of like some of the upper area on the, this weird bone fossil structure. Except for this area, but I think that's out of the radius. That's why. So I got another TNT here. Lightning TNT. Let's see if I can hit this dragon real quick with this lightning TNT. Oh! <laughs> Dead. I can, I can still hear it. That's how loud that lightning was. I can still hear it. How much health do you have? He lost probably like three health. <laughs> I could still hear it. Can you hear it? I could, I still hear it rumbling. All right, the next TNT that we have is the house TNT. And I'm assuming it just makes a house. Plain and simple. You know, if you're too lazy to make a house, boom, bada bing. We got one coming up. There we go. What kind of house? It's a stone house and it's just a square shape. Probably the most basic shape you can get in Minecraft. I mean, I guess it still works though. So I was interested to see if these have recipes and they actually do have recipes. They actually do have recipes. You can use these in a regular playthrough. I don't know if you'd want to, some of them at least. But yeah, let's do this bunker TNT, which is also square shape on the uh, TNT itself. I'm assuming it's gonna be made out of obsidian. Just a square obsidian house boom what did i tell you square obsidian house let me in please wow it even comes with a rock at least you know since we're in a nice barren area like this let's test out this tree tnt and i haven't mentioned anything about like the textures of the tnt blocks themselves they they look great they look great i love how colorful they are that's that's really all there is to say about it 
Tree TNT, look at that. Let's up the ante and let's do forest TNT. That's right, this is gonna create a whole forest. At least that's what it says. So let's put it to the test. Let's get a nice aerial view because most of these TNTs have been huge. So I have a feeling that this forest will be gigantic. Okay, yeah, it's a big forest. This is a pretty big forest. It stretches all the way over here to this desert. All right, so we have this one here called Diamond TNT. Who doesn't love diamonds? You could be the richest person in Minecraft. I'm talking about you could have stacks and stacks of diamonds, but when you still see a diamond, you still get excited. I can't be the only one, right? Boom, ooh, look at that. So it pretty much just coats the area in diamonds, like turns all the blocks into diamonds. For example, these are diamond cactuses. These are diamond cactuses. Now, I kinda wanna test it out on this desert temple, if that's the case. Let's test it out on this desert temple, see if it turns the whole entire thing into diamonds. Boom. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. All right, next up, we have Tiny Island TNT and Island TNT. I wonder how many times I'm going to say TNT in this video. I don't know. Somebody could probably count it. Maybe I'll give someone a reward if they count it. I don't know. <laughs> what is considered a tiny island? Oh, it did it way up here. Okay, at least it spaces a couple blocks between, you know, where you plant it and where it actually is. And look at this. It's kind of like Skyblock. Skyblock sort of island. Except for, I don't think Skyblock has goodies like this. And I think it's a lot, lot smaller. Next up, we got the regular island TNT, which I'm assuming is going to be a lot bigger than the tiny one. If that one's tiny, this one for sure has to be big, right? Whoa. Whoa, it even took some of the diamonds. Yeah, this is a lot bigger than I expected. It took some of the diamonds, that's beautiful. I like that. It's even got the diamond cactuses, okay, nice touch. So it looks like it pretty much copies what's underneath it. That's what it looks like. So since it does that, there's a village over here. So what if I were to place it in the middle of a village? Would it copy the whole village above it? That can seem pretty cool. Let's, let's try it out here, okay? okay and look at this it copied a majority of the village up here you even got like the levels to the floor and stuff so this seems like pretty much like a copy and paste tnt and then it just puts everything in the sky and look at this you go down here boom you got the original village underneath uh there might be some mobs that start to spawn down here so this village may not be safe and there's also this nasty blue stuff from like an ice mod of course but yeah next tnt we got here is trump tnt come on we all know what this does i don't even have to say anything even the texture shows you it, it makes a wall if you, if you don't know what i'm getting at it makes a wall whoa this is a thick wall oh this is not this is not exactly what i was expecting like a giant wall this is Kind of just made like a giant square what's in here ladders and shovels yeah i guess that's pretty useful to get out now after placing that uh trump tnt let's do this uh kim jong-un tnt and let's uh, see what this does i have no idea what this does uh, i guess we'll figure it out if i were to assume things are just gonna explode that that that's fucking terrifying <laughs> now this next tnt relates to you know the current month it's the month of christmas and uh we're lighting the is it christmas tnt almost like 20 days from now it will be no i mean it almost is i'm assuming if we light this tnt on christmas it does something special next tnt the crappy tnt and it says crap on it nice i'm assuming they didn't want to put the s word Ew, they, they weren't lying. This is crappy. <laughs> Let's try the really crappy one, which I'm assuming is just a bigger radius. I wonder if I had to do it like, you know, next to a building. Let's do it next to a building. Let's see what happens. Ew, it turned like half the building into shit. That's disgusting. Ew, even the water is like nasty colored. Next TNT, cheesy TNT. Hmm. Who doesn't love some cheese? Lactose people, that's who. Calm down. Calm down. I'm gonna fuck around and get a copyright strike from that. All right, but look at this. Didn't know what to expect. It literally turned the area into cheese. You know, I like the creativity of this TNT because I feel like most mod creators, they would just have a TNT that explodes stuff in multiple ways. This mod actually adds in its own blocks and stuff, which is cool. All right, I have gathered a bunch of villagers for this next TNT because I'm assuming, and if I assume correctly here, this is called Airborne TNT. This is gonna launch everything up in the air. That's what I would, oh, not what I expected. Not what I expected at all. Oh. 
Okay, did the complete opposite of what I thought it was gonna do. And uh, I think my game is on the verge of crashing. All right, I'm standing from a distance of where the airborne TNT took place. And uh, this is what it looks like. I don't wanna get too close because my frames will start to drop, but that's what it looks like from far away. The next TNT we got here is the wave TNT. And I ain't talking about like wave check. I'm talking about like tidal wave. Maybe it is a wave check. I don't know, the airborne TNT wasn't what I thought it was. So pretty get your waves ready. Oh, here we go. This is a wave? I don't know if I would call this a wave. <laughs> I'll call this a flood. God damn. All right, I have this uh, cave TNT. Hello, kind dragon, sir. I hope you don't mind if I uh, place this cave TNT right here and dig a cave into you. <laughs> and that one was really quick. Oh, look at that. It did create a sort of cave. I don't know. That's an interesting cave shape. Next TNT, weather TNT. Sure, you know, since I'm here, let's test this out. I don't know what this is going to do. Maybe cycle through all the weather in Minecraft. It's setting weather to rain. Oh, that's it. Let's go ahead. Let's try the fact TNT. Give me some facts. It's going to say something on a sign or it's going to say it in chat. Nearly 3% of the ice and Antarctic glaciers is penguin year. That's fucking disgusting. All right, we got some TNTs that I have no idea what they're gonna do. One is called save TNT, one is called teleportation, and one is called warp. What could these do? What destruction could these TNTs cause? So we're gonna start with the teleportation one, which I'm assuming is just gonna teleport everyone. Yup, it teleported things here. It didn't teleport the dragon though. What's the dragon doing? Oh, he's having a fucking battle. <laughs> okay, that one wasn't that bad, but what about the warp one? Does this like send us somewhere? Are you guys ready to go? Because we're all about to go. Okay. It warped me to an ocean. Didn't warp any of my friends with me. Let's test out this save TNT, which I expect to do nothing at all. Maybe it deletes the game. Maybe it deletes my save. I don't know. I got backups for a reason. Your game has been saved. Thank you for using save TNT. Wow. That's fucking useless. All right, we got four more TNTs. We are slowly getting into more and more destructive ones, I'm assuming. Let's start with this one, though. Time TNT. Will this just tell me the time? I don't know. Will it change the time of day? Let's see. I'm gonna look at the sun. Oh, look at that. It changed the time of day. Hey, can you change it back to daytime, though? Thank you. Next up, we got Rake TNT. I, I don't know what that means. Maybe if, like, tills all the land. Yes. That's exactly what it did. Now this one's called LGBTQ Q I P 2 S S or 2 S double A TNT. Shout out to all the LGBT people out there. Let's like this. This is a beautiful TNT. Like I said, I really do like the textures of these TNT. Ooh, look at the leaves. Are these like custom leaves? Lesbian leaves, nice. What about these? Nope, wait, gay bush. But look at this, this is, this is actually really cool. I like this a lot. Next up, we have this TNT right here called the everything TNT. I think we need a better place to use it though. We're in too like bare of a wasteland. Okay, we're in a, we're in a nice little area here. Let's go ahead, let's place this. And uh, I'm assuming this might mess around and crash everything. But uh, let's see, what could they mean when they say everything? Okay, game lagging right away. Chop down all the trees. Don't tell me this does like a bunch of different TNTs because this could be very bad if it does that. If it just spawns some mobs, then we're fine. I think we can live. I think my computer in Minecraft can live. Okay, so uh, I let it load a bit, you know, by just pausing the game and this is what we can see from a distance. If I get any closer, I think my computer is gonna explode. Okay, so I think we've done like most of the small TNTs, even some of the small TNT, quote unquote, small TNTs crash my game. So I think it's time we get into like straight up crashing territory and my computer is actually not that bad i have a gtx 1070 and i got an i5 that's like that's like normal for most people i plan to upgrade to 2080 and r9 that's that's the ultimate goal to have like a super computer but like i don't know the mostly tnts i'm assuming crash everyone else but let's see maybe i don't have enough memory or anything dedicated i don't know when i usually use obs you know it requires a little bit more attention than uh fraps in terms of memory but let's see what this biome buster tnt does did it do anything i don't know i don't get what it's supposed to do it's supposed to bust biomes maybe let's go into like this biome over here maybe it'd be a little bit more easier to bust this one i think this biome over here is being busted i don't know what's happening oh okay i don't know if i would consider this busted maybe eco terrorism yes oh my god this is bad this this shit is worse than dragons now let's go out here where there's a battle with dragons and death worms nothing out of the ordinary let's place this heck tnt which i'm assuming just puts the nether on the overworld something like that there we go. Look, it did exactly what I thought it was going to do. And uh, to be honest, I feel like the dragon fits in this habitat a little bit more than it fits into, you know, the overworld, especially a red one. 
Hold on, I might use you for a thumbnail. Stand still. All right, let's just crash our game. We have the super cluster TNT, which if you remember the cluster TNT from the beginning of the video, straight up crash our game. Let's do this. I'm gonna fly up as high as possible. See if I can avoid the game crashing before everything goes off. And uh, hopefully this works. I don't know, this is pretty far. I don't think we'd crash up here. I can barely see anything. Are we good? Not lagging, is that all? Wow, that one was kind of whack compared to the original cluster TNT. All right, moving on. Oh, oh. I spoke too damn soon, bro. I knew it was a bait. I don't know why I fell for it. This is bad. I need to get back up. So the uh, the, the game crashed, believe it or not. And this is, this is the last image I have. So I'm assuming from this point on, any TNT that we do is just gonna crash our game. We're on like our fourth or fifth world. No, it's whatever. It's whatever. We're gonna do this one right here. The super TNT of mass destruction. Hey, don't fly. Well, I guess he's flying away. It's all good. This TNT can't be that bad, right? All right, as we're waiting for the chunks to load, we can see the dragon did die from this TNT. Look at it slowly fall down. It's lifeless corpse slowly falling to the floor. All right, so I paused the game. I was able to pause the game and you can see in the background, this is the destruction that is caused. The only problem is I don't think I can unpause the game and the frames, you know, be regular. I could try. We can try and unpause the game and see what happens. Nope, definitely not regular at all. I don't think I even have control. Oh, wait, looking down a little bit, but there you go. You can see the dragon's corpse in the middle of the giant pit we created. On to the next TNT. Gotta go to a new world. All right, moving on to our next TNT, the Doom TNT. Oh my God, this got a long name. The gold-plated plutonium alloy coated eight volume nuclear donkey edition. I don't know what, had, what donkey has to do with anything. Let's light it up. It says LOL on it. Haha, -ha, funny let's crash my game all right let's try this again because i lit that tnt the world just paused for like 10 minutes and then the game crashed nothing happened at all so let's try it again let's hope something happens maybe this is just like a legit troll and absolutely nothing happens or maybe that world was completely destroyed let's see oh oh okay something happened fire dragon blew up yeah they're not lying that fire dragon definitely blew up he's dead now or she's dead now he's got dark patches on the wing this means it's a she okay pause the game and this is what the outcome is i'm sorry that we got to do it like this but like i mean my game just gets super laggy if i'm not paused but this is what it looks like we can see uh we can see a little bit we can watch our dead dragon fall to the bottom but let's move on to the next tnt all right so for this next tnt forget looking for a dragon to blow it up next to let's go ahead we're gonna place the tnt i'm gonna go as far up in the sky as possible to see if my game doesn't crash and see if i can actually play after a tnt goes off i have disabled all the drop things so hopefully it doesn't lag my game out and uh let's see it in action because i actually want to see one of these tnts in action without my game completely dying oh oh it's giving me a percentage on the explosion i'm going all the way up here then okay game's getting really really laggy oh my there's a there was a dragon underneath all this <laughs> what the heck this is crazy there was a dragon den somewhere in this area apparently wow this is awesome i get to actually play in it i kind of wish i disabled the tile drops and stuff earlier that probably would have been smart but you know if i was overly smart I, i'd be a billionaire right now all right next tnt black hole tnt this one is so big that it puts the tnt to end all tnts to shame dang the tnt to end all tnt was gigantic too all right right here that is a nice spot did I light it? I don't know. I'm going as far as I can. Ow, ow, ow. Smell it. Space. S. P. Space. Space. I love space. Really. Really. I'm the best. I'm the best at space. The hell is that TNT talking to me? Oh, here we go. Here we go. I'm backing up. Okay. And the TNT has gone off. And as we saw for like... Oh, oh, oh. This is space. I'm in space. We made it. We made it. We made it. We made it. Space. Earth. Wanna go to 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 Earth. Too big. Too big. Wanna go. I'm gonna go over here because that dude's interrupting me. Fucking rude. Yeah, look at this giant space it has left. And, you know, they weren't lying. This definitely put the last TNT to shame. This is legit like a giant area. Way more giant than the last one. You know, throughout the course of this mod review slash mod showcase whatever you want to call it i've had to restart my game a good bit of times and my game has also crashed a good bit of times but uh let's keep going forward we got i think one more tnt after this one but let's go over this anti-dimensional singularity tnt anti-dimensional dimensional singularity tnt that's a mouthful no homo oh my god so beautiful like this baby i don't know what this one does but I guess we'll see, won't we? Okay, 
I believe the game is frozen now and we wait for the outcome, whatever it may be. So I think I should cut the video off here. I really do want to see the last two TNTs, but I straight up left the room for like 10, 15 minutes waiting for this TNT to blow up. And as you can see, it's at 12.55%. It's like, bruh, why is this taking so long? Just explode everything. Does it really take that long? I don't know. But, uh, you know, in your imagination, you can believe how big the explosion would be if it's taking this long but yeah let's go into a world where my game doesn't lag every second so i can do an outro but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video you know we're branching out trying to do some more videos like this this is very similar to the uh rl craft but i added guns video but yeah make sure to leave a like on the video make sure to follow my twitch my twitter join my discord and check out my second youtube channel where i post my full live streams and i will see y'all in the next video whatever it is minecraft terraria pornhub <laughs>